Hello everyone, I am uh, Renaud Mer and uh, I am a lecturer at the Department of Geosciences of the Uppsala University. I am going to give you a lecture about the geological, cosmological and geochemical aspects of uh, lithium. Uh, let me share my screen. Here we go. So lithium, geological and geochemical aspects. Uh, as an introduction, you might probably have seen that uh, before. Uh, well, lithium is probably one of the best uh, friend of the 21st uh, century human being. It's used in many uh, objects uh, and applications. Uh, nowadays, uh, easily recognizable, uh, lithium is used uh, in uh, cell phone batteries, car batteries, small appliances batteries, and it is also a good a mood stabilizer. Unfortunately, lithium is also used in uh, less friendly applications like thermonuclear uh, bombs, it's used as fuel and it's also used as a rocket fuel for weapons. Let's uh, have a look to uh, the, the main physical properties and characteristics of uh, lithium. And uh, starting with uh, its uh, discovery, lithium was basically identified for the first time as a new element uh, in 1817 by Johann August Hafvertsson, uh, at that time a fellow of uh, Uppsala University. And he discovered this uh, new element in a mineral from Ute Island in Stockholm Archipelago. And uh, we will talk about that a bit uh, later. But first, let's look at the, the physical properties of the chemical element lithium. and we, for that, we have to look at the uh, periodic table of elements. Lithium is basically here in the first column of the periodic table. That means it's an alkali element and it's also a metal. Atomic number three, atomic weight 6.941 grams per mole. That means that's a light element. Lithium has also two stable uh, isotopes, lithium-6, that represents about 7.59% of the total abundance uh, of uh, lithium isotopes. And lithium-7 represents 92.41% uh, of the total abundance of uh, lithium isotopes. There are uh, also seven radioactive isotopes with a half-life smaller than 0.9 seconds, so they are more or less uh, negligible. And because lithium is in the first column of the periodic table, it forms uh, ions 1 plus. Uh, let's look at the uh, cosmological uh, aspects of uh, lithium and the main uh, characteristic is that lithium is a rare element in our universe. The average content of lithium in our uh, solar system is 1.6 uh, ppm, that means 1.6 micrograms per gram. That's more or less the average composition of the primitive uh, meteorites, which we believe represent the average composition of the solar system. For comparison, we can look at the, uh, the contents of uh, neighboring elements in the periodic table of uh, lithium. Uh, potassium, for example, 
uh, potassium content is 545 ppm and magnesium contain, contained is uh, 580 uh, ppm. If we look at the uh, photosphere, that is the surface of our, of our sun, uh, lithium is the least abundant element. So why that? Well, we can look at this uh, uh, diagram here, which shows basically the distribution of elements in our universe. That's the uh, Odo Arkins uh, rule. We have here the uh, atomic number on the X uh, axis, and on the Y axis, we have abundance. And what we see is that elements with uh, um, even atomic numbers are more abundant than the, uh, the elements, uh, the neighboring uh, elements with uh, an odd um, atomic number. That's why you have this uh, uh, zigzag uh, pattern. But some elements, boron, beryllium, and lithium do not follow this rule, and they are particularly uh, um, they have a particularly low uh, abundance. So why that? Why lithium is so rare in our universe? First of all, because there are few uh, formation processes. Uh, lithium-7 is mostly produced during initial uh, Big Bang nucleosynthesis. And Small amounts of uh, lithium-7 and lithium-6 can be formed during nucleosynthesis in a uh, few uh, stars, and it's also uh, produced during uh, cosmic ray spalliation, which is basically the collision between a proton or a helium nucleus with another uh, nucleus. So very few formation processes, and on the other end, Lithium has low nuclear binding energy, the nucleus of lithium. And that means the lithium nucleus can be destroyed at high temperature. So in fact, lithium is easily burned during the early history of solar system, just after Big Bang nucleosynthesis, and it's also destroyed in stars. So that explains the uh, low abundance of lithium in our uh, universe. Now we can look at uh, um, basic uh, physical properties of uh, lithium. Melting point, 180.54 uh, degrees. That is the temperature at which uh, lithium becomes a liquid. By uh, uh, comparison, iron, it's uh, 1530 uh, degrees. The boiling point, that's the uh, temperature at which uh, lithium becomes a gas, it's uh, 1347 degrees. Again, if we compare with iron, uh, iron is uh, 208, uh, 2,862 degrees, much higher. The density uh, of uh, lithium, 0. 500, uh, 0. 534 grams per uh, cubic centimeters. Basically, lithium floats in oil. It could float also in uh, water, but because it's an alkaline element, it's highly reactive with water. Basically, it burns. It's a soft metal. It can be cut with a knife. It's super conductive. So it's very uh, useful in uh, high tech. Uh, in high tech. And it's also a highly soluble iron.
Now we can uh, look at the uh, geology and geochemistry of uh, lithium. And we can start with uh, uh, basic uh, geochemical uh, characteristics of uh, lithium. Lithium is what we call a lithophile element. It is present in the crust. Uh, basically, on Earth, we uh, divide all the chemical elements in four categories. Atmophile, affinity for uh, gas, they are in the atmosphere. Lithophile elements, as lithium, they have an affinity for silicate phases. They are in the crust and the mantle of Earth. This is what you can see on this diagram. Calcophile elements, they have an affinity for sulfur. They are in the core and siderophile elements, they are metal that do not, they are metals that do not combine with anything else, and they are also in the core. So the main geological uh, features of lithium, lithium do not occur as an active uh, metal because of its, uh, its high uh, reactivity, it forms minerals and salts. And we will see that a bit uh, further. Lithium uh, is more abundant in silicates than any other uh, mineral types. Again, we will talk about that a bit later. And it substitutes uh, with uh, potassium and uh, sodium. They are neighboring uh, elements in the periodic uh, table. Uh, lithium also substitutes uh, in uh, minerals with uh, magnesium. Uh, and also cesium and rubidium. If we look at the, uh, the average content uh, of lithium, on Earth, it's 1.6 ppm, that's more or less uh, the uh, content of the solar system. If we look uh, into uh, different uh, things on Earth, seawater, 0.14 to 0.25 ppm of lithium. If we look at hydrothermal solutions, basically hot uh, fluids, uh, containing a lot of ions. They contain about uh, 7 ppm of uh, lithium. The, the mantle of Earth, the content of uh, lithium is about 1.4 ppm. And finally, upper continental crust, as I said previously, Lithium is a, a lithophile element. It goes into the crust of Earth. And you can see here that it's uh, uh, true. Upper continental crust contains about 20 ppm of uh, lithium. For the uh, next, next uh, lecture, we will look at uh, lithium in rocks and uh, minerals. And that will be uh, it for uh, this uh, first uh, part.